Hi there, Talis here. KR Server has new update. This update will appear more or less in the end of December 2021. Let's check it out. First we are going to check the banner. There will be a new hero carol that appear with a new Christmas short story. Other heroes that will also featured in this banner are Meryl Future Princess Lupina Lapis and Bianca This is Carol's special weapon, the Little Star Now let's take a deeper look on the new hero Carol. She is a one-handed sword wielder warrior, light element, but she is unable to equip a shield. Her attack is pretty fast, and she has melee attacks that followed with ranged attacks. She also has light elemental debuff. Her 500% range damage DPS can be considered high, but the problem is it is a ranged attack. Incoming damage will be reduced by 30% when she is attacking. When under attack, she will deal 30% damage from her DPS every 3 seconds, and her secondary attack recharge time reduced by 0.5. She has critical rate party buff, and all her stats are high tiers. This means she will be very dangerous in PvP. The more you hit her and she hits you, the better it is for her. Her playstyle will revolve around rushing and taking enemies head on. Carol will probably become the counter to almost all melee units but weak against long-range basic units like Future Knight. Now let's check her weapon stats. Her weapon attack is quite low, since she uses one-handed sword. She also lacking shield, which emphasis more on the notion that she will be defenseless against long-range units because she can hardly hit them in some arena maps. Her weapon skill damage is probably the lowest among all units, even lower than Hannah. Regeneration time for weapon skill is also very long, almost as long as Future Princess. This will become a big problem facing a ranged unit that can deal huge amount of damage before she can get close. Next announcement. There will be a special summon event for the Christmas celebration. All of us will get a 50 times free summons that will appear with 10 free summons every day for 5 days. This free summon will not stay until next event. So remember to use all of them in this event so you don't waste your free summons. For the event, there will be a roadmap event this time. First I will show you the highlight prize of this event. Other route will be available too depending on which hero stones you need. I personally highlight the one with less hero stones to give you an insight on the general high value items. Next we are going to check the event points. By default, you can gain event points daily from Coffee Regeneration, Colosseum, Awakening Rift, and Daily Mail Coffee. This assumes that you never skip a day. The total will be around 45,000 points at the end of the event. You can gain more points by buying more coffee. This coffee can be bought with gem at exponential increase price, at 5 maximum per day. In total you will need more than 70,000 event points to clear all of the road map. Now let's check the event mission. Event mission will be stamina use. I will show you all the rewards. Next is the new packages, there will be an end year relay package. To be honest I think this one has a bit less value than the last chain package. 
This one is actually quite cheap. You get 3 awakening stones and 1000 coffee for only 8 US dollars. This one is for the whales. It is not cheap, but it is better than the normal gem price. This one has a pretty good value since it has epic hammer. Next is the costume rotation. 